Hi guys, it's Eileen here, and I am making houses. Um, a few people are making houses, um, so I'm not sure what kind of house I want to make because for international crafters, we're making wonky houses. Um, Fiona um, Jennings six four four. She's doing um, winter type of well season houses. So whether you're in the winter season or like your your winter. Christmas is in a place where it's warm, whatever see like holiday would be in every wherever is I think what she's meaning by the houses in the Christmas season um so she's doing a houses um as well, so I wanted to really do it um the challenges so. I don't know. There's so many great ideas out there. Anyway, so I have, um, I don't have cardboard or, or uh, wood plaque or anything, so we're supposed to put um, them on a tag or a wood plaque. Um, this is the largest that my Cricut will print up tags because it's an older one. So I don't know, that's not going to work. Unless I make some really small houses on here, which I could do that too, because she didn't specifically say what size. Anyways, I'm going to make some houses, and we'll see how it turns out, because I'm not sure what to do. So, anyways, I have some cardboard. I've done houses in with the whole boxes, um, my boxes assembled. I'll show you one second. So here's some that I've done in the past here recently. Um, I have seen these types of houses on Pinterest, Pinterest, um, the flat houses, and I wanted to make something a little different, so I made them on a box. And I believe these are scalp potatoes, um, craft dinner, um, hamburger helper, something like that. You know, easy foods for whatever when you're having a lazy day of cooking which sometimes happens when you have 10 people in the house but so these are more like apartment flats type of thing but these are my boxes for that that I've done before and um, these are my layered paper scrap um, homemade paper that I've put on there for the doors and the windows so these are on them got plaster on the side of this one here just a quick show of these so and they were fun and this one's got plaster as well and I stamped them up and painted them and they have lots of layers on them paper on the box and um, modeling paste there's a B behind there and some uh, some just different things I model paste a Oh, I can't think of the word of the the thing, the design. But just playing around. And this one has uh, foil in the background, lots of foil. And the sides I put duct tape on them. Just to see, you know, play around with it and stuff. So crunched up foil in the background and stuff. This is a letter K glued on there. So you can see the papers and stuff like that in the background as well. And I have also mesh on here from um, like the wall, drywall stuff mesh. So just different textures and stuff to play with. So they were different. But anyways, I wanted to show that. So with this, I'm not sure I'm going to try to do it almost like exactly like what I've seen done. Um, with uh, Jennings 6... Uh, four four is done. Um, except for she's got better backing. Of course, I think it's cardboard. Or I mean, I think it's wood. I don't know plaque. But I think for her challenge, I'm going to do it on. Maybe I'm going to do it mini ones, miniatures, like really small. And then maybe I'll play with wonky houses to get the challenge from Josie's challenge done as well because I haven't done that one, which was last week's this following this last week's challenges here catching up I 
they're very fun. You know what? I really think I'm going to do the, the ones on the tag, the little tag, just do little houses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the big ones. Then I'm going to make the smaller versions. I'm going to try to make a replica of a somewhat of a smaller version of the larger ones. And hopefully it'll work to what I'm wanting in my vision in my head. So I think I'll make three houses and um, yeah. Three regular houses and some wonky houses. I need some wonky houses so I'm going to make I'll have to cut up some more cardboard. I think I'll make this one a thinner house. I don't know. I'm going by my eye too now, not even measure. I measured the first one. Um, see, Josie's was really different because hers, we cut out the pieces. She did jelly prints. That was really neat. I like that. Um, I'm going to save this. Yeah, I really like the jelly print, so that was really cool. And um, maybe we can do like a. I don't know um, how I'm just kind of making it up because I don't know how how to make like a double house with two peaks, but it's a one singing single dwelling, like a garage attached or something. I don't know. All right, if this looks right. So, we're going to try this. Um, I'm going to put the um, modeling paste. I'm going to do a lot like the way Jennings did hers. Just because it's in my mind and I want to try it with the modeling paste. Um, if I could find my tools. Found it. Yay. I don't know. I have a whole pile of them, I don't know. Okay, this is really getting yucky and... Oh dear. I don't know if mixing it in would be a good idea, but what am I doing with this? I had been um, taking it out of the package and putting it in a small one, in a small container, so I'm not opening it. I don't even barely use it, this stuff paste, but I have been doing that and it doesn't work. It still dries up in the small container and this one, so I don't know. Maybe I just don't have the right type of container. I'm just going to mix it up a bit here and try to... I don't know. It's going to be chunky. Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to stick some of this on here. Oh, messy. And... <laughs> Let's see how that goes. It's kind of cool. I think um, hers is way better, of course, but whatever. It'll work. 
you know what's really nice is that um, I'll do it a little too. The fact that it's on cardboard is really not the greatest idea. But what can you do? Even it out a little bit here. So that's that one. I don't know. Do the same thing on this side, maybe a little bit more. fast. That one. Get my shapes here out of the way. And one more. There we go. And if I'm quiet, guys, I'm really sorry. I don't know. I don't know if it's just a bad speaker in my eye iPod or on my phone actually iPhone and I don't know or I'm just I am a very quiet speaker so there we go so there we go that is that and I'm going to dry them up a bit I have them dry now. I'm going to multiply some tissue paper over them, the cardboard, to make it mm, a little I don't know, different. I want some texture on it, and then I can add some color, and it'll help seal in the. Oh, wrong thing. Ah. It'll help me seal in the, um, this is uh, my marmot case. Oh, okay. Much better. Seal in the cardboard, I think, too. So, and I got a big gum of goop, goop of it on there. That's the wrong brush. I don't like using that one unless I have to. I know it's a lot on there, but I want to also add it to my top of my houses. Because they're going to be so porous. one house I probably could have put more texture on that on this part but oh well now I really did it it's okay it's okay I should have crumpled it up first It's okay. I didn't really want the roof crumpled anyway, so it's already got the texture. Now, 
people are my houses. And I'm just going to spray them and they're going to have a nice... I think I'm going to spray them and then I'm going to have a nice um, color. Give them a little different. Why not? Make sure I got the corner piece up here done. And uh, yeah. And I'm sticking everywhere. So that's one house done of just texture. See, it would be really nice to do them out of like hard, harder cardboard. But I didn't do that. So I'm just going to get glue Mod Podge everywhere. And I'm going to get it crunched up. Everywhere. I want the texture on there, so that's why I'm doing it like so messy. And then I'm just going to do the roof. The rooftop. With a smoother piece of tissue. Which is no problemo. So I'm going to finish these houses up and then I'll be back when I'm ready for the next part. Okay. These are the houses. I am not mm, particularly, I don't know, pleased with how the coverage of the tissue paper, of course, is, but uh, I can add more to it. So, I'm just putting my homemade alcohol inks on them. And then I'm going to, uh, what am I going to do after that? I am going to do the ceiling, the roofs. I'm going to brown in this one. That one I like the texture of. I didn't crumple these ones up good enough. That's funny because, yeah, I added more paper to that one. Dry these up a bit, and then I'll put back on. Okay, so I have this, and I have an idea that I want to do with one of them, and now I think I want to do with all of them. So I have my texture... I don't know what they're called. Plates that I bought. This one's the brick impression mats. Uh, probably for cake making and stuff like that. But I've been using them for um, my ATCs and whatnot. So what I'm going to do with this one here is grab my tissue paper 
and I'm going to make some impressions of the bricks and put them on here just for extra texture and visual texture. So I'm going to use my oil pastels just because I, I want to and it'll leave a little bit of a resist. It might look neat. So I'm going to do that. I'm not sure how much I want on the page or on the house, but it'll, I can have better to have more, a little more than not enough. I think so. I'm just lightly going over it. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to rub over it like this, just to. Get the brown in the in the motor, motor, and there. So that's the brown one. And I think that'll be cute on here, just like like um, tearing it and adding to it, just a little extra texture, and it'll look really nice, I think. I don't know how much I'm going to add. Probably not a whole lot, but we'll see. Enough to add a little. I like it. So I'm just going to tear it really messily. Messily. Grab my Mod Podge and throw it on. And I really like the look of that. Isn't that cute? I'm going to do a little bit at the bottom here. And uh, let's see if I can deal with that like that. There's one done. Now I'm going to grab my, and I got a little extra if I want to do more, but I'm going to grab my pink and do the same thing with the pink one. And my tissue paper, see if I have one tissue paper, pink color. Um, it'll blend really nice. That's one of the reasons why I use my oil pastels. I know I'm going to be putting my hand in front of the... Either way, I'm kind of covering up what I'm doing for you guys. Which is what we did in school. Doing our uh, rub art stuff. I don't know what it was called. You know, that was a long time ago. So there's pink, and I'm just going to rub it a little bit here, and do the same thing. It's not going to be the exact same pink or whatever. It's going to crinkle up to that. doesn't matter. Um, because I'm just going to add a little bit more paint to it. And you might go see it in the background. So, And if you don't, it don't. It was just a, a test. Just a, something I wanted to do. Add a little bit more visual texture. a mess and that's the second one done right there 
this pink is really not as visible as the um, brown, but that's okay. Okay, next is the blue. And we'll do the same thing, maybe a little bit of a, mm, maybe a tad darker blue, just so I have more of a, I might have to redo the pink because the blue is going to look really good, darker. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. Rub that in. That's very right, pretty. Yeah, the pink needs to get a little bit of a boost. Do the same thing. I'm not sure how much I want on this guy. This one's a skinny one, so uh -huh. it's gonna look like that. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more on the side here because I can. There we go. Done. my glue back on. I'm going to dry these up. Maybe add a little bit more ink on top. Okay, so you guys, this is the first part of building these houses out of I painted the rest of my black on there of um, food boxes. Cereal, you know, boxes like that. Cereal boxes whatnot. From home and so far this is what I got. The texture here did not show up as well, but it's okay. And so this will be uh, my part one video because I'm showing you from the beginning to the end of these um, instead of having them like almost all the way done and then showing you the end so I think I'll have a few videos to make of these so this is my part one um, putting some Mod Podge on top of the black paint just to give it a sheen because I like that look um, so I'm going to stop the video right after I've done this Mod Podge here on these robes. And, oh, the chihuahua's getting trained on the collar. He hates it very much. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to stop the video as soon as I'm done this part here, one last little house. So on this series of these houses, I would also like to add the wonky houses I'm going to do and the little ones on the tags, the basically what's the outcome. I'm putting a lot of glue on here. I don't know what to do with this because this is scrap glue here. It went all gray on me there. Um, then I'm going to do the ones on the tags for Fiona's, uh, I don't know how to say her name, um, Jennings 6. Four fours uh, challenge. So I think this is my first challenge actually that I have joined in hers, and she has somebody else in that with her going in on that. It's really cool. So um, yeah. So this is part one. This is the ending of part one. Thanks, guys. See you in part two.